Oh, yeah. thanks, thanks, yep. Mrs. H. Where are they? Let, let, let go there. Well, I, I like them. Get, 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 let go. Hmm. Unbelievable. Where is it? Oh, panties! A... What? Yes. Pants? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm alright for pants, actually. Yeah. Thanks, thanks so ma'am. Yeah, thanks anyway, though. Oh, yeah. I did come here, Ian. Come here. What? Got something to tell you. What? Come closer, what? closer. What? <laughs> oh. That's for being ungrateful. Oh, that's him. Um, that's reminding me, Mrs. H. I've, I thought you were a present. Oh, a present for little old me? Yeah, <laughs> I got you a fish. What, what would I want to do with a fish? <laughs> oh. Ah, 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 Cut right now. Ah, Mission ah, 2110. Ah, Don't laugh at your mum. What? Boo! Run network. Previously on Mission 2110. Futuregate is overrun by robots, and I need help to destroy them. So far, I've summoned four young recruits and tested them with missions of stealth, dexterity, logic, and bravery. Sadly, three of them fell victim to the dreaded vaporizer. But one recruit, Millie, proved herself worthy of a place in my elite team. I now need three others to join her. Together, we will shut down this evil for good. Mission 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you are about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. They're strong, almost unstoppable, but we can do it. We can take back Earth if we work together. We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us. On Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you. This is Mission 2110. We don't have long. They're all over the place here. The Roboids. The machines we built to serve us. That turned against us and all but destroyed our world. The Roboids still infest Futuregate the research facility that created them, and which is now their base. And that's the perfect place to strike at them, to fight back and take Earth back. To do that, we need to get these, fire rods. Get enough of them and the can heads have got a serious problem. But I need help from another time, your time. So who's got the courage to face the Roboids? To face Mission 2110. One group down, three to go. Number two coming right up. Welcome to the future. OK, gang, I'll cut to the chase. We're on a big boat called Futuregate. There's about a million robots here, and we have to do something about it. Are you all ready? Yes! OK, but I need to know how ready, how prepared, just how tactical you can be. So I'm going to go down the line. I want a name and an answer from every one of you. But I'm determined I'll always try my best. I like your confidence. Keep that positivity up. Karen and I use the robot's intelligence against them. Hmm. Ah, the brains of the bunch. We could do with that. Lois, I'm clever and cunning and I'll out with the robots. Good idea. Outfox your opponent. I like it. Callum, I'll use my concentration and speed to get past them. Well, we'll certainly need stealth to defeat the enemy. But you're going to have to prove yourselves with the many missions that I've set to test you. It's all about grabbing these bio rods. The more we take, the more we weaken the Roboids. Are you guys up for taking down the bad guys? Yes! Resistant spirit. I like it. And you're going to have to keep that up, recruits, because I'm afraid I can only take one of you with me to join my elite team for the final battle. You're going to have to prove your skills. Like it? OK, well, I'm going to teach you all sorts of stuff, probably not the hat thing, but plenty of things to defeat the Roboids. And in your first mission, you're about to encounter some horrible, smelly shades. So everyone, hold your nose like so, and follow me. OK, recruits, follow me. Your part in the Resistance starts here with a logic mission. So first, a little test to see what kind of brains you're carrying. Lois, come here. Mm. 
Well, it's not looking good. Now, you've probably already deduced this mission has something to do with those steel cages on the upper level. But you're also going to be facing the Shades. <gasps> you're working for the Roboids in this area. Now, they're pretty scary-looking creatures, the Shades. They're not overly friendly, they're certainly overly smelly. And you must not touch them. If that happens, you're automatically out of the mission. The Shades have been instructed by the Roboids to safeguard some bio-rods by locking them securely in these cages. Three padlocks and a big pile of chains are in your way. The third padlock is inside the cage. Unlock this one to release a spanner that will help you free that precious bio rod. I've got to warn you, recruits, as your time begins to run out, more shades will start approaching. When that happens, get out fast. If you get trapped, remember you can panic button your way out of your missions. But if you do that, you'll lose all your bio rods. Two up this way, two up that way. Get cracking. Good luck. Mission on. Remember, three padlocks will release your bio rod. Use the tools provided to snatch those keys from the other side of the cave. I've got my first key. Okay, I've got my first key too. That's oh, no. it. Keep communicating with each other. Oh, I, I want all four of you to come back with your very first bio rod. Come on, Lewis. Let's get that first lock undone. You too, Callum. Good work, Callum and Lois, but keep an eye out for those smelly shades. Yeah. Kieran and Fern, that's your first padlocks unlocked. Well done. Oh, I've got the second. I've got the second. I've got the second. I've got my second. Hold oh, your noses, right. guys. How does that shade smell, Kieran? Oh, I stink. Remember, you have to work quickly if you're to succeed in this, your first mission. <laughs> Come on, Kieran and Fern, you're now lagging behind. Lois and Callum are doing very well there. They're inside the cages just after that final key. Ah, he's going to get me. You've got to get a move on, recruits. Those shades are getting closer and closer. Kieran, that's your second padlock. Fern, well done. That's you into the cage as well. OK, now use these tools quickly, recruits. I'm on to my final key. I'm just about Same. to open the spanner. There are definitely more shades in the area. They can probably sense your presence. Use the spanner to loosen the bobs. But hurry up. Those shades are almost on top of you. The shades are coming. Are they? Yeah, they're behind you. If you can smell their stench, it probably means they're way too close. Good work, Kira. Yes! Mission accomplished. Callum, brilliant stuff. Grab that bio rod. For the rest of you, hurry up. Hold your nerves. You just have to undo those bolts. I can't get it. Come on, Lois, you can do it. Oh, get out. Yes! Fern, get out of there. I can't get it. Lois, you're on your own, but don't panic. I can't get it. You've got ten seconds. Come on, Lois, you can do this. Quick, quick, quick. You jump in. Do it. The shades, they were quite smelly and um, they were a bit scary when they were coming to you with their beaming red eyes. And it was the first mission I managed to get my barrel, so I'm really, really pleased with myself and really happy. Lois just got out, which is good. We all got off to a really strong start, got all our first bio rods and I think we could all do well. This was my first mission, I really enjoyed it, so bring on the road, boy! I spy with my little eye, something beginning with... Now, let me see what letter shall I choose. How about R? Uh, roboids. No. Robots. Still no. R -r 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 Rusty nine foot heaps of jug. Ha! Bingo! Well, we are going to take down those kettle heads and finish them off once and for all. I am Caleb, and no one gets one over on me. Ha! No. I am so the hero. OK, recruits, in this next mission, I'm looking for courage. I need true bravery. I need recruits who can face fear without flinching. Boom! <laughs> Let that be a warning to you. I need recruits who are steady of heart and steady of hand. You're about to get up close and personal. 
with a worker. Otherwise known as drone class roboids, these heavy metal brutes are equipped with pincer claws that could mangle a, a mangle. You know, it's an old uh, domestic method of drying clothes. Got two. It doesn't matter. Just stay away from them, that's all. Your mission is to meet one and unfix it. You're going to find three pressure switches on its body. Two on the arms, one here in the center of the chest. If you can depress all three of them without sounding the alarm, then you can grab yourselves a trio of bio rods. If you're any good at threading a needle, you'll find this mission a breeze. OK, Kieran, you're up first. Let's see your hands out straight. Let's make sure they're steady. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all, but look at that. Steady as a rock. I mean, this one's terrible, but then I am brilliant at castanets. Go for it, Kieran. Good luck. Good you're luck, in. Kieran! Mission on. So, Kieran, take this nice and steady. This is your chance for three bio rods, so take a deep breath. Looking good, Kieran. Hold your nerve and keep that bar steady. from his claw. OK, how are you feeling? I'm all right. Things get harder now as the security rings get much narrower. If that alarm sounds, be prepared to get out fast. Those rings are wired up to the workers' electronics, so make certain you avoid contact at all costs. like tactics for future missions are to just focus more and not get too overconfident if I get a bio rod because I think that's what let me down in this mission. Mission on. You need to have a steady hand for this mission. Take your time. Take a deep breath, Fern. Take this nice and steady. There's three bio rods to get here. Careful, that's looking a bit shaky, Fern. Quick! Recruits, we must do better. We saw the robots for the first time today. It was pretty scary. I think that's why I kind of didn't do very well, because I think I got quite distracted by them. They're really big and they've got giant claws. It was pretty scary. Mission on. Remember, Callum, take it really slowly. You have no time limit on this mission. I want you to bring me at least two of those bio rods, so stay calm. Callum, remember there's no rush, but this will take all of your powers of concentration. Good work, Callum. That's your first bio rod in the bag. Now for your next one, Callum, settle. Those next rings get a lot narrower. Take a deep breath. Nice and steady. You can't afford to reactivate this drone class robot. Grab that bio rod, leave the room, quick! I got on really well in live work, because I got one bio rod, and it was really difficult, because the holes got smaller, and it was really hard to concentrate when you had the roboid there, and you kept like, looking at you every time you moved. Mission on! OK, Lois, finally your turn, let's go. Remember to take this really slowly, Lois. There's three bio rods at stake here, and as yet, no one has brought me back all three. You're so close, Lois. Steady with that rod. The alarms have sounded. Get out of there, recruit, quickly! Unfortunately, recruits, that is a low bio rod haul. Hopefully, we can do better in the next mission. Um, I was quite nervous because of the big, huge, ginormous robot in front of me, and that it was about to spring to life, which is why I was a bit worried.
Why on earth would the recruits call these things scrapbooks? I mean, scrap to me is what I want those kettle heads to become. Yeah, big piles of scrap. Anyway, they've told me it's important to keep a record, so I've assembled all the photos I can find. I even think I've got a hunch who this smiley chap might be. It seems like such a long time ago. 75 years, to be precise. I still can't quite get my head round it. Still, maybe one day there will be a happy ending for this book, when Neuros and the Roboids are finally defeated. Maybe I'll even write my own book one day. Yeah, Hero Caleb and the Order of the Roboids. That's got a nice ring to it. Recruits, your part in the resistance continues here with a dexterity mission. We need to keep a very low profile as we've snuck into the heart of Futuregate's fuel store. If you take a peek down there, you'll see a worker. Otherwise known as drone class roboids, these guys were designed for heavy duty manual labor. They're incredibly tough. They've got thick muscles, even thicker armor. When it comes to brain power, they're really not clever at all. In this mission, you're going to be working in pairs once more. So take a look at this control panel. And more importantly, this override key. All I have to do is slot it in there, and pow! That roboid's off on a mental safari while we have control of its body. Your mission, recruits, is to guide the worker around the fuel store, demolishing everything in its path. When you get it to the fuse box, use its pincer claws to smash it wide open. You'll power it down, and you can run in and grab yourselves two bio rods. Kieran, Lois, you're up first. Good luck, get wrecking. Crash test. Mission on. Forward! 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 Remember, recruits, you've yeah. got to destroy as much of this stuff as possible. Right! This is no time to muddle up your left and right, recruits. Forward! Let's see if we can take out these toxic barrels. Forward! One! I think you need to get a lot nearer than that, recruits. Right! This is a timed mission, so move that worker quickly through the fuel store. Forward! One. Great stuff. Now let's move on to those radioactive Left. containers quickly. Left. Forward. The worker is totally under your guidance, so make sure you're handy with those controls. Forward. Forward. That's it. Let's take out those barrels. Kick. Backward. Backward. Back. Thirty seconds, recruits. You can still do it. Left. Move that roboid faster! Over to the nitro pipes! Right! Forward! Forward! Punch! Back, back, back! Just ten seconds to go, recruits! You can do it! Recruits, you've got to be quick! Forward! Right! Right! Time's up, recruits. I'm afraid you've failed the mission. No bio rods for you. It's quite fun because you get to control one of these really big nine-foot robots. What happened was really we just lost focus a little bit and we were, I think we were giving destructions out too slowly. Mission on. OK, Callum and Fern, you need to destroy as many of the fuel supplies as you can and get to that fuse box. Forward! Forward! Punch! You've got to work quickly. Left, right! No left! Okay, that's taking care of the toxic barrels. Let's head on to those radioactive canisters. Forward, forward, forward! Forward! You've got to get a move on, recruits. Forward! 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 Kick! Left! Now take that robot over to the nitro pipes. Left! This may not be your regular remote control robot, but let's try and steer this nine-foot tin head to its own destruction. Left, right! Let's take these nitro pipes out. Punch! 30 seconds left, recruit. Left! Move that roboid left. faster if you want to grab those bio rods. Five! 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 20 seconds. Five! 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 Congratulations, recruit. Yes. You should scream, Fern. You and Callum powered down that roboid. Congratulations, Fern. Callum, grab those bio rods. 
You've done extremely well there. You work very well as a team. How are you feeling? Yes! Feeling great, yeah. Really great. Uh, I think our mission went really well. We, you know, we got it. We completed it. Um, the roboid was a little bit hard to control because she didn't move as quickly as we wanted it to. I really enjoyed like controlling the roboids because, well, <laughs> you wouldn't really normally be controlling one, <laughs> and it was quite fun because like it felt like I was the actual roboid. So this is me, the kid in the picture. Yes, your fifth. Birthday. You were a beautiful child, Caleb. I don't understand. How can you be my mother? My name was Laura. Laura Gant. It's been so long since I heard that name. I created Futuregate. But that means... That's right, Caleb. I created the Roboids. All of this? This is your fault? In a way, yes. Machines that could think for themselves. Who in their right mind would ever think that was a good idea? I built them to help humanity, Caleb. And there were safeguards. Behavior inhibitors that were supposed to stop them hurting us. Yeah. Good job, Mum. Most roboids were built out on the mining planets, shipped out in kits and built by other roboids. But one was missing an inhibitor. Well, let me guess. Humans showed up to turn it off, and it didn't like that. That's when the nightmare started. Gamma Sephi 4. Thanks, Mum. Thanks a bunch. Caleb. 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 OK, recruits. Here we are at the Futuregate recharging facility, where you're about to have an electrifying experience. You're going to be working in pairs on this next mission, as you're going to come face to face with the fiercest of all roboids, the Wardroids. These battle-class beasts have evolved beyond their initial purpose, defending humans, to become engines of human destruction. The aim of this mission is for you to get down there and overload it, destroying it before it finishes recharging and destroys us. By connecting all the cables in the correct sequence, you'll be able to create a surge of electricity that will cook its goose and roast its potatoes. If you get that far, you'll certainly have earned your bio rods. One each for the successful recruits. Lois, Fern, you're trailing behind at the moment. How are you going to beat the boys? We're going to try hard and use concentration, and especially teamwork. But we're not going to tell them anymore. OK, interesting tactics. Let's see if they work out. You two, you two, get stuck in there. Bring me his bolts. Mission on. Time to get overloading. Let's send this war droid to junk metal heaven. Callum and Kieran, you're creating a circuit with the blue cables. Lois and Fern, you're aiming to connect the yellow cables. Yeah, that was it. This one's it. Connect the cables in the right order so that we can send a surge of power through this charging machine and toast that metal head. Every cable must be correctly connected. There are five connections to make, and only one combination will work. OK, the third and lowest got their right one. Is that the right connection? Is that right? No. Yes, that has to be the right one to push it in. Get you squish. It, it, it isn't going in. This battle class wardroid is one of the most dangerous varieties in Futuregate. Wait, you go on the other one. one. Plug that one in. Yeah. That wardroid is charging up. We have to overload its circuits before it gets the chance to activate. That is, that is the right one. It's in. Let's go. This is the right one. Are you sure? Let's connect the three. You need to talk yeah. clearly to each other, recruits, and you've got to move fast. We have to go, 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 go. Okay. That, that was the right one. Where was it? Right, it's in. Right, it's in. Let's go. Okay, right, Lois and Fern have got one. Three. 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 Um, yes, it's five. Three and a five. You have to work at speed. We don't want that wardroid powering up and attacking you. Lois and Fern, you still have four connections to make. Callum and Kieran, you only have three cables left to connect. Three. 
two buyer rods up for grabs for the first team to pull that lever. Fern, this isn't it. It is. I looked at it. Brayton. Recruits, you can't force the connections. They have to be the right ones to work properly. It's in. Go. The three. Two threes. Here on their fourth. You're doing well there, guys. Here's two threes. Here's two threes. Ah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Lois and Fern still having some difficulties. No, 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 look here. It's two different ones. There's this one, got it, that one. Hang on, this, that this. That droid is almost powered up, so get to it. Complete go this go mission, go, 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 go. fast. Wait, this oh, one, yes, it's in. OK, okay. Oh, are the girls catching up? Yes, yes it's in. Go on, this one. Oh, a blue. Callum and Kieran are on their last connection. Three and a five. Is it a big three? Lois and Fern, you've got to move fast if you want those fire rods. Go, go, to the next one. Switch. Get in there, guys. Grab those bio rods. Congratulations, you made short work of that war droid. Good teamwork. Well done, guys. How'd you feel? I feel good. Feel great. Great. I'm really pleased because we beat the girls because it was boys we girls. I think we worked well as a team because we, you know, we were helping each other if one of us got stuck. Quite nice, kind of. Losing with a friend, not by yourself. We were originally thinking of going on our own, but I'm glad we didn't because it it wouldn't have worked out as well. And we were really happy with what we did and how far we got, even though the boys were. Yeah. Go, Go boys. boys! Bing bong! Good morning, shoppers, and welcome to Roboidsons. Today in aisle two, we have special offers on rust accelerator spray, just perfect for rusting your roboid to perfection. And in our fresh produce aisle, we've got half-priced chickens. Yeah, robot chickens. <laughs> what? You can't get the staff nowadays. The same cannot be said of you, recruits, because you've done extremely well in your first few missions. Particularly you, Callum. You're currently ruling the roost with four bio rods. Congratulations. But things are about to get nasty. Phase two is coming up, and the name is appropriate because we're going to be phasing one of you guys out of Mission 2110. You recruits need to prepare yourselves for the toughest challenge Futuregate has to offer the Vaporizer! The Roboids must be destroyed. They are the enemy, and they'll stop at nothing to harm you. If you're brave enough to face the Vaporizer, you will face danger, but you will have the chance of victory. One false move, one wrong step will end your mission, perhaps even your very existence. And that's what's in store for my recruits in the next phase of their mission, rather them than me. My resistance grows stronger with each passing day. I already have one elite recruit, Millie, to join me for the final battle. There, we will take down Neuros and her band of not very merry roboids once and for all. I can't wait for that day! Neither can I, Caleb. Because on that day, I will finally destroy you. More for you, Caleb, to think that second time round you can defeat me. Think again, Caleb. Think again, pretty boy. Welcome back. It's Lay, me and Ark have been receiving different parcels meant from different people from CBBC at the CBBC office. Yeah. And we've been a bit, been a bit cheeky, haven't we? We've been having a little sneaky peek inside and we've got another box right here. Hey, Ian. What? Shall we look in it? I think you just read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What's in it? A jar of jams. <laughs> Anything else? And I've got a look at... Oh, yeah. There's also ham. Mm -hmm. Who would want a box of hams and jams? Did somebody say jam? That must be for me. <laughs> oh, no, there's also, there's also hams. But, oh, yes, well, that's for my husband. Did I hear someone mention ham? Yes, yes, over there, Tim, yes. Mm. Lashings of jam and ham, and it's all ours. Oh, oh meat. Yes. Check it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, young fellow. Oh, yes. Yeah, bye. 
Glad they're gone. That should be the last of the mysterious packages. Package for CBBC? Yeah, what now? Ian, look, another one. What's yeah. in this one? Oh, look. It's, oh, it's all... Oh, it's a yeah. human brain! Hey, put my dinner down right now, young man. Ah, ew. Hey, now really, how rude of you. You don't see me picking up your burgers or spaghetti, do you? What is this world brains? Look, finally, look, he's gone, Akron. There's no more mysterious packages. Package for CBBC. Oh, Go here, mate. Cheers. Another package. I wonder who this could be for. A box full of pink dresses. What sort of crazy character would wear pink?